Hello everyone and welcome to Total War Warhammer 3. Now I've been playing the game almost continuously since its release and now with the new 1.1 patch dropping, bringing it with a host of stability fixes such as a fix for random crashes and with it a bunch of balancing work, I thought it would be a good time to look back into the game. So today we're going to be playing as Grand Cathay is Zhao Ming, the Iron Dragon of the Western Provinces on normal difficulty. Something of a mysterious faction for myself, who has been a long time fan of Warhammer Fantasy. For those unfamiliar with Warhammer or new to Warhammer Fantasy, the Total War Warhammer games are set during the end times, the destruction of the old world in preparation of the Age of Sigma. The previous games also touch on the well-known factions such as the Slan Lizardmen, High Elves, Green Sivs, Dwarves and the Empire. However, Grand Cathay was one of those things that were mentioned in the Greater Warhammer lore but never had its own tabletop army nor fleshed out lore. Creative Assembly working alongside Games Workshop created this faction from scratch, complete with lore just for Total War Warhammer 3. So I get to experience this as a whole new faction for the first time along with you guys. And without further ado, let's dive in. Ruled by powerful creatures, dragons, who can inhabit human form. You are gravely mistaken. We have no interest in the mere god's power. No interest in power to use against the forces of chaos? I am Yao Yi, the storm dragon, older than the gods themselves. You are here for a greater purpose. This map shows the energy of all things. There should be harmony, but the world is unbalanced. My younger sister, Shen Tzu, bringer of light and hope. She ventured beyond the Northgun Mountains, but was lost. Without her, Without her light, darkness prevails, and our family has no comfort. Though I feel your loss, the Tome of Fates provides no insight to your sister's whereabouts. Ursa, you know he witnessed her fate. Then why does he not tell you? I am a dragon. There is mistrust between dragons and gods. If you save Ursa, he will tell us how to find Shen Tzu. Let me serve you, mighty dragons. I can reach Ursin. Lead you to him before it's too late. For one drop of his blood. Your destiny is to guide us. The armies of Cathay must reach the Maelstrom and march into chaos. Balance will be restored to the world when Shenzu is returned to you. Our goal is clear, Chuftar. My sister assumes it is her right to hear the Bear God's testament. But you will help me reach Urson first. I will guide you to the Dying God. You require a Grand Legion, and for that your traditional lands must be tamed. Ratmen have always infested the Walkstone Desert, but the God's roar has emboldened them. Destroy these Clan Eshin pests. Further north, your absence from Shanyan has left a power vacuum that rebels have now filled the insolence. They must suffer the dragon's wrath. Once the desert is yours, the Tower of Ashshare shall come under your dominion. The caravan routes under its control will give you the riches required for the dread expedition into the Chaos Realm. Beware the Great Moor. 
for the ogres mistake this pit for a god. Yet even further south, you shall find more enemies eager to invade. Disharmony blights Grand Cathay, mighty Zhao Ming. If you are to find Ursin, you must restore the balance. Only then will the Dragon Emperor look upon you with fondness. Fire and metal shall save us all. Okay. Vermin encroach, daring to block the route between Han Yu Port and Shanyang. Remind them what a craven race they truly are. Alright, so before we jump into combat against this enemy army, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the technology. So we start off with Season Trackers, which gives us plus 5% for Yang armies and plus 5% for Yin armies. Hmm. Fletching Mentors. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give more ammunition for my peasant archer units. Because I do love good ranged units in these kinds of games. And at the moment, we have more yang than we do have yin. Is that right? So, and this is a yin research. So these ones are neutral straight down the middle. Okay. Uh, the next thing we need to do before we battle is I'm going to look at Hanyu Port and look what I can upgrade. So, Jade Warrior Crossbowman. So if I was to get this, I will get uh, the access to Jade Warrior Crossbowman. What else do we have available? Peasant Horseman. Iron Hail Gunners. Ramparts and Archer Platforms. Where's Market, Spice Market, Conscription Office, Conscription Field, Tea Parlor, and Labor Conscription Bureau. Okay, so what I think we're going to do, since we've got an income of 3,390, is I'm going to upgrade this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a coral. So that way I've got more access to more better units or the beginnings of replacement units for if I lose any of these guys. Now we're just going to run straight into this battle. We are going to fight this battle. Okay, so we got 10 on channel magic. Uh, let's channel, see if we can get better magic. I just get the same. Okay, start deployment. Alright, so we have these clan Eshin guys over here. These beautiful rat men. Alright. Um, I think what I'm going to do... I think what I'm going to do I'm going to have, hold these guys in reserve as they aren't as good against the clan Eshin warriors I'm going to have my arch units in behind them my jade warriors I'm going to as soon as I can just get them to charge straight in Okay, I'm not just be overthinking this just a little bit. So let's just go start on. Okay, so let's move. You may switch between your aspects as the battle demands, Celestial Majesty. 
Strike against your enemies in dragon form, or use your human guise to empower the troops. I can do my dragon transformation now, right? So early game. Oh, that's powerful. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you guys to chase them down. My rocket battery. You guys can just do whatever you want. Fire at will. That was a devastating hit. Alright. Let's watch this transformation. Oh, that is cool. That is so powerful. Uh, Jade Warriors, you go still moving in? Yes, you are. Um, okay, let's move these guys up to here. Uh, let's get you to breathe fire. Like that. Oh, that was a cool ability. Um, get you guys to stop firing. Wow, we really just routed them. Um, get you guys to go like that. Uh, get you guys to go after them. Get you to go after him. Uh, we want How come you guys aren't shooting? Here we go. Now they're shooting. Uh, might transform him back into human form. Get you guys to chase after them. guys chase them now uh what are you guys up to i need you guys to just go that way uh you guys i'm actually gonna get you to stop firing because you're actually hitting your own guys here never conquered praise the dragon Jesus gave us such a cowardly race. They're so cowardly. In uh, go after them. The How are we going over here? Oh, these horses? Longma. A pretty cool. Go over here, chase them down. Chase after them. All right, we got victory. However, I like to make sure that there's little chance of them coming to attack me again. Uh, 
How many are left in over here? All gone. Cool. Uh, how close are you guys? About yeah, it's no point. Let's just fast forward this battle. The rest of this battle. Might be quicker if I use the dragon with my spit. Oh well. This guy's gonna fall. Boom. The tearing fire the terrifying mask of E. Okay. Uh, don't really need to replenish my troops as I didn't really lose that many. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with execute captives because leadership's always good to have. I know it's a bit. A potent ally has joined your ranks, embegging your army. Okay, so let's bid this unit. Alchemist ready. Disharmony flares across this region. Bolster your army with more loyal warriors. Okay, so what we're going to do now is do the mission for this. Let defeat become fleet. The Iron Dragon. Okay, now let's go and recruit. Alchemist two new units um let's go like that uh no if i'm up against the rat men my jade warriors are quite strong against their units so i might do two of them yes Okay. That's oh. This panel displays your caravans. They can be seen along the Ivy Road from Cathay to the west. If your caravan reaches its destination, you will receive a large reward. Okay. The caravans you can dispatch are displayed here. You can see its level and the number of units that will protect it. That's not a lot. You can decide how much cargo the caravan should take west. The more cargo, the greater the reward you receive if it reaches its destination. All caravans start here. The lines leaving this point represent the different routes a caravan can take. As the game progresses, dangers will be displayed beside these lines. Now chart the route that the route your caravan should take. You can alter the core, the alter the route, even after it's been dispatched, and so react to perils along the way. It will move after ending your turn. This is a destination node. If your caravan arrives there, you will receive the reward beside it. Click this node to plot its route there. After choosing your initial route, click the dispatch button to send the caravan and return the campaign map. Remember to return and check on the progress of your caravans. Okay, so. I. Uh, yeah, can I. I've actually got better warriors than what I've got. Ooh, that's cool. Frozen landing, let's dispatch. Okay, so that is the end of my turn. Glory, Father. 
perusing compass harnesses the winds of magic to bring prosperity to Grand Cathay. Directing the compass fills the respective energy reserve. The greater the energy reserve, the larger the benefits are. However, the energy reserve of all directions will decay over time. Okay. Okay, so that's the end of my turn. The town of Shen Wu may appear as ruins, but it has the stink of rat men about it. All right. Okay. Get out of my mind. Let's go to Zen Wu. And we will fight this battle. Okay. Uh, do we risk it? Let's go for it. Okay, so, oh, oh, wow, I've actually never seen a, this level of detail for Skaven Warren. This is really cool. Like, look, look at all this scaffolding. That is so cool. Okay. I think what I'm going to do... So I'm going to split our forces in half. Yes. So let's grab. Let's grab them. Uh, and stick them here. Uh, and let's stick you guys down here. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to group you guys. Group you guys. So I have you guys out the front. You guys here. You guys going to go there. So my spearmen are going to just essentially just protect my my archer units. What's your abilities? Searing Doom. Okay. So we're just going to start battle. I'm just going to hit pause real quick. And I'm going to send my first unit here. I've sent both units there. Never mind. Okay, so let's just go like that. Uh, bring you guys up to here. You guys up to here. You guys, the great longbow riders, I'm going to have attack them. Over here, I'm going to get you guys to push ahead let's get these jade warriors over here peasant long spearman i'm going to have right here my archers to here and i've got range on my uh fire rain rocket however i will move them slightly forward just so they can cover this upper area as well uh without Let's hit play. Fight with courage. Get you to move forward to about here. Man, those towers have some range on them. 
That's intense. And I'm going to transform you into a dragon. And I'm going to send you right in. And you're going to attack these individuals at the back. Uh, I will get you to fire that salvo off and then I'm going to turn that off very weird flying He's going to wreck them. Let's see how we're going over this side. Where? That's what I thought. Why are you sitting all the way back there? Might get you guys out of there. Get you guys to engage. Uh, this dragon unit. Take it. These guys are retreating right into my troops, so that's actually quite funny. Let's just, let's just annihilate all these Skaven slave spears. Uh, you guys finish up on that. I will get you lot to push into this victory point, which will deny the Skaven from being able to build more towers and destroy any local ones. So we've got a minute before that one gets built over there. Hopefully by capturing that, that'll stop that from happening. How's our Dragon Lord going? Yeah, he's just owning the battlefield. Alright, I'll get you guys to move up to here. Yeah, uh, actually, no, I'll get you guys to come here. And then... Uncover him foes, whereabouts. Okay. I'm okay with that. do now is I'm going to send these units up to here and I'll just set you guys up like so uh, I might send my units my great long my riders to I'll learn the names eventually to assist the dragon and I don't know why he's just standing there all right those guys are retreating 
We'll push you guys forward to here. Hunt them down. Actually, you don't need to. They automatically all perish after the battles won. Their garrison uh, unit. If you guys up to here. Awesome, all those tails have been destroyed. Um, yep. I'll move you back up here. Doesn't really matter now what what these units of theirs do, because I've basically won the game, or won the match. And then once you're up here, Iron Dragon, we are... Uh, these units, you guys now push on up to here. Gonna move you guys back because you're getting shot by ranged fire. Uh, now what I'm gonna do, turn you into human form. Why? But a little bit silly that I need to reselect the unit, even though I've already got them selected. May need to fix that. Hopefully that happens with a future update. Okay, we've now captured the main control point, uh, but we are still getting shot by these towers, so I will send a unit down here. I'll send you guys down here. Let's get my peasant archers to come over here. Uh, I'll get this jade warrior unit to come down here, along with this one. Realistically, this battle will be over if this guy dies. So hopefully if we destroy these units, and capture these points, we'll get to a stage that I might actually lose this. Um, where's my... Oh, I've completely forgot about her. There we go, victory. Now, we don't need to continue this battle because all these uh, enemy units will automatically perish. Okay. Well, because this uh, settlement is part of our province that we are trying to secure, I'm probably going to go for the occupied so there's less um, penalty 
Because even though having... It's not really worth even sacking him. It's only a thousand gold. So yeah. I'm just going to go with the Apo Occupy um, settlement. Celestial Empire. Ever grow. You need a strong power base before you can retake Shan Yang and invade the realm of chaos. Only the province of Jin Shen will grant you such a platform. Okay, so our quest now is to capture the city of monkeys and secure the Jin Jinxian province, which is made up of just those three settlements. Cool. Okay, so now that I've, kept, I've recaptured Zen Wu, when I get enough population, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the dormitory here and I'm going to demolish that one so I can enable building um, the another one of my military units. So that way that when my armies are in this province, I have access to all of the units available to me. So I think the last thing we're going to do for today is we're going to level up Zhao Ming and I th yeah that's where we, I think that's where we'll call it it's the we've been going for quite some time now um so I could go with warding iron which gives me damage resistance plus five percent which might actually be quite good desert weapons that's also extremely good for my army. Plus 15% and then plus 10%. So, wow, okay. I feel like, like we move quite fast enough already. I might get Inspiring Presence because... Uh, better unit experience means they just get better and better. So I'm going to go with that one. I think I'm going to go with Desert Weapons because plus 15% for melee units is pretty strong. Craftsmanship is impeccable. Okay. So I... That's where we're going to leave it for today. I've been Sir Firecat. You guys have all been awesome. Until next time, take care.